guys you welcome back my name is Bukumi BK crop you guys are feeling good so now Muslims are going to be asking Kali dancing questions about Islam what are the steps for them to take to become a Muslim so let's check it out the first question is I'm a non-Muslim and would like to revert to Islam right here and right now hmm. But this is a sister, she says, but I want to know when do I stand getting judged for not wearing the scarf? Sister, don't worry about the scarf. First, worry about your heart. Accept oh. Islam. We're going to come back to this, this, um, this young lady in just a moment. This is from a young, young child that's six years old. Wow. They want to know what paradise is going to be like. Six years old? No. Well, let me just tell you this. Oh. Our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that there will be no children in paradise. <laughs> but wait a minute. And that's because all the children, whether they die, whether they're killed, whether they starve by disease, in paradise, on the day of judgment, no children will be judged. Wow. Because children in Islam are considered no innocent. Sense. So in paradise, the Prophet ﷺ told us that all the inhabitants of paradise will be 33 years old. Mm. And they will never get any older. So if this six-year-old child wants to know what paradise will be like, we think that if God Almighty causes you to grow in faith, that you will be in paradise. But in case you don't get to grow, if you don't get to become an older or an adult person, when you get to paradise, you also will be 33 years old. The Quran mentions that in the paradise there will be no sweat, no bad smells, nobody has to take a bath, nobody gets older, nobody gets tired, there is no wounding, there's no bad words, nobody has to work, there's no labor, nobody has to pay for anything, everybody has their own palace. A palace. Everybody has their own palace. A palace in paradise might be five or ten times the size of this place that we're here right now. Everybody will have one of those. Mm. Everybody will have beautiful clothing. Everybody will sit on brocade couches with pearls and diamonds encrusted. Everybody will have the food that they like to eat without having to cook it. Fruits will grow inside your garden that you just call the fruit and it bends down and gives itself to you. Everybody will be served. Nobody will have to cook or get up and clean and wash and do dishes. Everybody will be served. Paradise means Everything in life that you ever imagined, that you ever wanted, you will have it there, but on the highest level. Mm. And the best thing of all, nobody in paradise will die. Everybody will live forever. And the words will be peace. And if you my homeboy, and we all in paradise together, I'll come over to your palace and we party over there. <laughs> nice guys so the first question that was asked i'm sure the person should be a christian oh, i don't know but i think based on the question she should be a christian a christian so the lady said she wants to revert to islam but she doesn't know what will happen to her if she doesn't make use of the scarf again i don't understand if 
you want to revert or convert or whichever way it is okay revert to islam you don't have anything to do with scarf anymore you have to dress like a muslim they are leaving the religion to become a muslim so why are you not so concerned about the scarf I don't understand. I don't know. I think that part was not necessary per se, but as long as you want to convert to Islam, you know, just stick to the religion you want to revert to. Don't bother or think about the religion you are coming from. You get it? That should not be, you know, your worry. Your worry should be, okay, now that I'm in this religion, how do I serve my God? What am I supposed to do? you know you know you have to pray five times daily you know islam religion is far far different from christianity you pray five times daily all those five pillars you give alms to the needy i think there are periods where you have to give to the needy so um it was really brilliant everybody is free to ask whatever is in their mind but it sounds somehow to me so the next question was um the six years old boy hmm i don't understand i can if six years old boy asks about paradise he's still young i'm sure it will be the mother well we have some brilliant children of now that are from four five years old they ask so questions that even adults would be surprised that ah, like they, they, they ask questions like an adult they behave like an adult but why is the child asking about paradise you are too young to ask about going to heaven what it takes so and i enjoyed um carly Dianson's explanation to that he said as a child don't go through judgment because they are they are still pure in heart you know they are children so i want to know which age group is it is it from zero to when you enter you no know, adolescence or from zero to when you, your teenager stage end so he said but babies little ones if something happens to them by mistake and they leave this world out of one challenges or the other they don't get judged because they are pure in heart so i really enjoyed this conversation about the you know paradise you know muslim called heaven paradise why christianity is heaven you know the heaven is called paradise in islam so i really enjoyed you know this video I hope you did guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye